In this video, I talk about Simply Schedule Appointments, the free core plugin and the paid products they offer, and how you can use it to have a scheduling page on your website. You could use it with Lyft or LMS to maybe have a scheduling in a members area, or you could put it on the front of your website for clients to book calls or pre-sales calls. It's a super easy thing. They just select a time, they can write in their name, email, and then phone number and book an appointment with you. You'll get a notification, they'll get a notification. And in this video, I'll show you how to set that up on your WordPress website. So the first thing we'll take a look at is the pricing for Simply Schedule appointments. Like Lifter LMS, they have a free core plugin and that's what we'll be working with in the video. I just wanted to take a second to highlight their paid features. So for the uh, 99 a year version allows you to connect to your Google calendar and then also allows for some other integrations. They have a package that allows you to accept payments for appointments. It allows you to have reminders for your appointments and then a little more advanced analytics. And then they have a business package that has some features that are yet to come, uh, but those will offer some cool functionality when they come. And today we'll be working with the free core plugin. So let's dive into the backend of WordPress and get that set up. All right, so now that we're in the backend of WordPress, let's go ahead to plugins, add new to install the simply schedule appointments plugin. So simply schedule appointments, type that in here and should be the first one to pop up. Yep, there it is. Go ahead and install now and activate. And what's nice about this is they have a setup wizard to walk you through the process. These calendar tools can be a little bit complex, a little more complex sometimes than creating courses with something like Lyft or LMS. So a nice setup wizard like they have here uh, is really useful. So if we click on appointments right here at the bottom on the sidebar there, it will take us right into the setup wizard. And of course you can skip it if you don't want to, but let's go ahead and walk through it. It's gonna walk you through some things like setting your time zone, uh, setting your date format and things like that. We'll go ahead and move on. And then of course it's gonna take us through setting up our appointment. Um, and for my example here, I guess I will call it a, let's say it's a coaching call about my course content. Maybe I have a health course. So diet coaching call, we'll call it that. And the duration 30 minutes. And of course you can change the label color on the calendar if you want to there. And the booking view is either gonna be weekly or monthly. Uh, the weekly is just gonna be like a um, week view of where they can select and they can go to the next week or a month view is gonna show you a whole month calendar. I'm just gonna go with, um, well, I guess we'll put it on its own page. So I'll go for monthly right now. And then of course you'll say, um, we'll meet over Zoom in my room here. And then maybe you paste in your Zoom link. And then of course, uh, capacity. You could set um, capacity with their pro plugin if you wanted to have multiple people be able to come to a call or something more advanced. But for me, I'm just gonna go with the one-on-one uh, -on -one call. I'll move on to availability. This is where you can say um, when people can book the appointment. So how would you like to define your availability for this appointment type? Uh, we would say available in blocks or start at specific times if you wanted to. You can start an appointment at nine if you wanted to. I'll just do the available blocks. This one is super intuitive. Um, so show the appointment times every 15 minutes. So if this is a 30 minute appointment, I'm going to stick to my 30 minute model where you can book it um, every 30 minutes, 9 a.m., 9.30, 10 a.m., 10.30, etc. And what time I'm available through the day. I'm personally more available in the afternoon, so let's go ahead and erase all of these and all of the green times are when I'm gonna be available. Let's say I start uh, being available at 2 p.m. here and then I can go maybe through um, to 6 p.m. So this is gonna be my availability Monday through Friday. Maybe I'm not available on Fridays. So this is when people can book in these times. And of course you can block these out or color them in if you're gonna be available uh, to be booked. So let's go ahead and say continue. And here we go, we have our appointment time zone. I'm gonna say localized, so that'll show in my client's time zone, uh, the appointment time there. And then for the buffer, if I wanted to have maybe 15 minutes before an appointment or make it so appointments cannot be booked back to back, I would just go ahead and put maybe a 15 minute buffer. And that should automatically, uh, because I have 30 minute timestamps, is just gonna block off so I can't have two appointments back to back. You could have a zero minute buffer if it's not a big deal and you can just roll from meeting to meeting. And then of course you can have a buffer after as well. 
So I don't want to be rolling from meeting to meeting. So I have the 15 before, 15 after. So I have a little break between my meetings. And then notice required. So this is one day. People can book one day out. I could say they could book three days out. Um, they could book one minute before the meeting if I wanted to set it like that. Uh, but let me say, give me two day heads up as to when we're going to meet. I'll put that there and then per day limit. You could set a per day limit if you wanted to say only three of these appointments a day, a super useful feature there. Uh, but let's move on to customer information. This is what do you want to collect from your customer? Do you want their email name? Do you need anything else like their uh, phone number? If you want to um, display that, make sure they answer it. In case we can't get a hold of them, we could give them a call. And so yeah, this is like a summary of what my uh, stats are here, my buffer before, when I'm available and everything like that. Uh, we will also come back to this link in a second. This is where we can embed our booking on a page. We'll come back to that in a second. But let me just go ahead and continue. And I could try booking an appointment or I could go to my settings. Let's see try booking appointment and see where that takes us. Should take us here to my page where I can book a die coaching call. I can select when I want it. I was available Monday through Thursday uh, from 2 to 5.30 and people can schedule in here type their email, name, and phone, and then go ahead and book the appointment. Let me just go ahead and say test. Go ahead and book my appointment. And your appointment's been booked. And I can save it to my calendar as the client as well. But that's what it looks like to book an appointment. So let me go back to the WordPress admin here, and we'll cover a few other things you can do with simply schedule appointments. So if I had to appointments down here at the bottom, I'm just going to click on that. It'll take me into my appointment listing here, and it actually shows me my upcoming appointments, the one I just booked right here on October 28th. And of course, I can see some details for that if, um, if I want to there. But let me first go to my appointment types, my diet coaching call. Uh, so what happens if I want to put my appointments on a page? Uh, you can do that easily using the short code. So if I edit right here, all the way at the bottom, we have this booking info. I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to put it onto one of my WordPress pages. So let me go out to my WordPress admin here and make a page for people to book with me. So I'll just go to pages, add new and put together a quick page. Then we will add a short code block here, paste in our short code and then publish. Let's take a look at what this looks like. And it should look pretty similar to what I filled out a second ago on my book appointment page. Uh, that was just the appointments area. If I had multiple types of appointments, it would show all of them. So using the short code method allows you to make a specialized page for your appointment specifically. It'll take it a second to load in here, but you could also put information above, below, you could put pictures, but this is what it looks like for my clients to book the calls. And of course they can book out into the future as well. And now that I have this page created, I can add it to my menu. If I wanted people to be able to uh, click on my menu and uh, go ahead and book an appointment with me. Let's see if I have a menu created here. It doesn't look like I do, or I guess I have my students here. On this website, I have a custom menu that slides in. Um, so I would, of course, add my link to my page right here. But for the moment, maybe I don't want people just being able to show up on my site and book a coaching call. Maybe I want it to be restricted. So you have to be in a course or membership to be able to book a call. You could easily take that short code I put on a page, drop it into a lesson, drop it into a membership, wherever you wanted to put that link to the call. Or you could even make the page itself restricted uh, by membership if you're working with Lifter LMS membership. So you can only access my uh, diet coaching call booking page if you are enrolled in a specific membership. So if I edit my page again here, I wanted to say only members can show up on the page and book a call with me. That would be one way to do it there. And then one other thing to know about is the notifications. If I head down to appointments at the bottom there and then settings, notifications, I can see the notifications that are set up to go out. So there's an email to the customer letting them know the appointment's booked, same to the admin, and then appointment canceled for both the admin and the customer. So for maybe the appointment booked, I might want to modify this email and say, hey, thanks for booking and kind of turn this into my own language and then save that. But that's how you can edit the notifications that go out surrounding your appointments. But that's really all there is to it to get a 
calendar put on your website where students can book appointments with you and get rolling in that department. Sometimes it can be intimidating to set up a whole nother calendar tool and integrate that with your website and make sure everything's working, but simply schedule appointments makes that super easy and free. And of course they have some awesome paid features if you're interested in integrating with the calendar, accepting payments for appointments or doing any of that kind of stuff. So I encourage you to click the first link in the description below this video to check out simply schedule appointments and how it can work with your Lifter LMS website. This has been Will Middleton from wpcourseguide.com. Thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.